Hi there, everybody. Time once again for Make It With Me Monday. I hope that pretty soon some of you guys will pop on here and be ready to make a project with me. Um, excuse the boxes behind me. I still haven't dealt with those, but uh, hey, it's a messy stamp room. It means a happy stamp room or something like that. <laughs> Let's go with that, shall we? <laughs> All right, I am going to flip you down. So I'm just checking to see that the feed is working and I'm going to flip and down there we go all right let me zoom in a little bit come on zoom there we go okay that should hopefully help all right so we're gonna let a couple more people maybe hop on with us here so I want us to start by reminding everybody that today is the last day to sign up for the flutter forth class um, you're going to get a sampling of the Butterfly Bijou Designer Series papers. So one of them has butterflies, or so I should say one side has butterflies, and the other side has really fun patterns. So you're going to get two sheets of each of those, and from those, hi Carol, hope you're having a good day. Um, it, we suddenly got some snow again here, um, starting about 3 o'clock, and it was kind of um, crazy for a while. Looks like it's dying down now, but... That just sort of, came, I mean, we were expecting it, but it just sort of like came out of nowhere. Hi, Ruth. So glad you can join me tonight. All right. Um, so again, you're going to get two sheets of each of these. And from one set of that, I'm going to cut the parts you need for your, pro your projects. So you'll have six full sheets and plus um, a few that have some pieces missing. You're also going to get a sampling of the Natural Touch specialty paper. Um, the one side has this really neat wood grain. It's very shiny. The other side is kind of a plain tan color and it's really thin and listen to that it's like super super thin so easy to work with will be really easy to die cut and with that wood grain that would make some really beautiful projects depending on what you're going to be using okay and then just i'll flip through quick the cards that you're going to make so there's those two so basically what i did is i took this sheet and i showed you guys how the die cuts out those six butterflies right there. And I took the six flat butterflies and made them into cards for you. So that's how it goes together quick and easy. So there's those two, and this is that fun gatefold style. And then the last one has one little butterfly on it. All right, so if you have not already done that, hop on over to the event on Facebook and click going so that I know you want to take the class. All right, so if you were um, studying ahead, you know that for tonight's project, you are going to need a card base, which is five and a half by eight and a half, and it should be scored at four and a quarter down the middle. Uh, I forgot my bone folder, but I've already pre-scored mine. So that's gonna be your card base. You are going to have a piece of DSP, some kind of patterned paper that is one and a half by five and a half. <laughs> and then you should have three pieces of a neutral so if you chose white or vanilla, three rectangles that are all one and a half by two and a quarter. I was just double checking my measurements and making sure I didn't mislead um, any of those. <laughs> all right, then I also asked you to grab a stamp set that has smaller images and phrases. So the one I'm gonna use tonight is one I just got recently. It's in the January through June mini catalog. It's called Hey Birthday Chick. And it coordinates with a set we had a few years ago during celebration that was called Hey Chick. <laughs> and then what they did is they brought that back for a limited time, which is kind of cool. In case you didn't get it during celebration, you can get it now. And then they added dies for both of them. So that's really kind of a neat thing. So I'm going to use my Hey Birthday Chick tonight. I'm going to grab the little guy popping out of the egg. I'm going to use this one here. I am eventually going to use that little confetti texture part. Um, and then I have the happy birthday message as well. All right, so are you guys ready to stamp? Hope so. <laughs> All right, you're gonna take your neutral um, pieces of paper and you are going to stamp them in however manner that you wanna do. So I'm first gonna take my color palette tonight. I'm using some of the current in colors, uh, Bumblebee, Cinnamon Cider, and Just Jade. All right, that's my color palette. Um, so I'm going to start with my little chickadee and my bumblebee ink. And I'm just going to randomly stamp a few of those chickies on here. Just off the paper a little bit, kind of look like they're all 
silly dancing or something like that. All right, let me hold that up a little bit more. So take some kind of small image you have and either multiply it across this or if it just perfectly fits that, that's great too. Okay, and then I'm going to grab my Just Jade and my confetti and my happy birthday. And I'm gonna take one of those panels, put the happy birthday in there. So again, you can use images or phrases or a combination, whatever you guys have handy that what you're doing. And I hope later you guys will post uh, your cards into the event so we can all see what everybody made. Because I'm always curious to see what you guys grab when I describe um, what we're gonna be doing. All right, so there is my happy birthday. And I'm gonna use this again later, so I'm going to clean it off with my very, very, very well-loved chamois. Does anybody else's chamois look like this already? <laughs> I, I always wonder why they made it in such a light, uh, it's a little blurry. Oh, shoot, Carol. Um, all right, let me see if I tap it, if it'll focus better. Okay, hopefully that's gonna help. Let me know. Hi, Jesse. Nice view popping. All right, is that looking any queerer, Carol? I hope. Um, so there's my happy birthday along with my little confetti sprinkles. And then lastly, I'm gonna take the bigger chicken looking at the cupcake and I'm gonna stamp that one in the cinnamon cider. And excuse my head, I just wanna see that it's getting lined up right. <laughs> well, shoot, I don't know. Is anybody else having a blurry issue? Hop on if it's a common problem or if I find it's just that Carol's house. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can adjust the zoom and focus there and see if that helps. Okay, so there's my three neutrals. So you guys do your neutral rectangles in whatever method you've got going. Give you a second to catch up on that. I'm just gonna set mine off to the side here. And the next step is gonna be to fold your card base. Okay, good, Mary, glad that's it's okay for you. So Carol, I will try to help you find this later. Oh, streaming issue, huh? Oh, maybe we're having, um, because of the weather and stuff, maybe something's a little fuzzy here or something. Shoot. Um, I will, um, I don't know if you noticed last week, but what I did is I saved it when I was done here and then I posted it to my YouTube channel. So I'm hoping that maybe even that will help too, Carol, if you have a, I have a good, as long as I have a good feed, we'll be able to get you um, hooked up properly eventually. Okay, so you're gonna take your one and a half inch strip of DSP and you're gonna put it against the left edge of your card, like so. Okay, and if it sticks off a little bit, because again, cutting is never a perfect science, even though you swear you're lining everything up to the right measurement. <laughs> Just trim off if you've got something extra. Okay, all right, there is my card base and my three images. And basically what we're gonna do is we're just going to lay them out like so. So I'm gonna space them before I put any adhesive or anything on them so that I'm pretty sure I've got them where I want them. Now at this point, you could put them directly down. That, that would be good. You can also pop them up with dimensionals. I am always a dimensional girl, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> so I am gonna use up some of my snippets on my um, mini dimensional sheet here. I hope you guys do this too, because I'm like, I don't want to let any of that dimensionals thing go to waste. So I always just cut up those little border edges um, so that there, everything's getting used. All right, so tape it down directly or pop it up. Like I said, that's your choice. All right, get those papers off. Oop. That's always the more, most boring part is watching me move dimensionals. Okay. So there's my chickadees and my happy birthday. All right, just for time purposes, I'm gonna cut, whoop. I'm just gonna use two for now and I can always go back and do it later. <laughs> All right, so anybody else watching get the snow yet today? I didn't know if it got up towards you guys, Mary, or not. It didn't look like it was gonna go that far north. All right, and then I'm gonna do my last one.
Exactly. You don't want to let any of that usable sticky. I like that phrasing. Hi, Kathy. Nice to see you tonight. All right. There you go. So that is the layout. Now on Facebook, I joined a group. It's a free group. I mean, it's a not a private group or anything like that. So you guys can join it too if you like. Um, where they do, um, I believe it's called Casing Tuesday. I'll double check and see if that's the name of the group. But every Tuesday, they look at a card from a catalog, um, one of our catalogs, and then break it down into the sizing and dimensionals for you, uh, or dimensions <laughs> for you. So I pulled up one of those. It's actually an older one, as you can see. It's from the August to December 2020 Mini. And I happen to still have one of those around, so I'll show you what they were basing this off of, was that card right there with the sheep and the cat. Now on their image, what they did is they stamped a portion of it with the um, uh, buffalo check, there we go, and then put a piece of, of regular cardstock over that. So that's where the split comes in. So on the sampling here, it measures the whole thing from this, this section for the right, they listed it about two and three quarter, and this section here was one and a half. So you can break that up however you want. You can stamp part of it you, like they did. You can do the DSP like we did, anything there. And then you could also think about doing different shapes. Um, they used rectangles. Um, I think it fits nicely with just the corners. Um, you know, I like conformity in green corners and stuff. So I went with the rectangles as well. Um, and then I just want to note too that if you use a darker cardstock like I did, you're going to want to cut um, a, a neutral panel for your inside that you can stamp on or write on, and that's going to be four by five and a quarter. Okay. For my sample though, I don't have one of those. So I'm going to set this here. And as usual, I will show you guys a few other samples. What I did this time, since I haven't used this stamp set very much, I don't have a lot of samples with it, but I wanted to show you how to um, up grade, or how do we phrase that, <laughs> um, what we did with this. So in this version, oh, stepping up, there we go, that's the word I'm looking for. I stepped it up by stamping those little confetti pieces in cinnamon cider all over the front before I put the DSP on it. And then I stamped the images in memento ink and colored them in with my blends. I'm going to lift that up just a little bit higher so you can see better. So it's adding a little bit more um, dimension and pizzazz, I guess, maybe. <laughs> um, so again, coloring in with the markers, adding a level of that because these were just the direct um, stamp images. Um, and again, remember, if you're going to be using blends, you want to use the Memento ink. And if you're using your Stampin' Write markers, you're going to want to use Stazon. So you want, you want, it's the concept of oil and water don't mix. <laughs> so your alcohol markers need a water-based ink and your water-based markers need an alcohol-based ink. <laughs> so those, you pair them on opposites. Um, oh, then I wanted to also show you the inside. So I used the big guy with the balloon and the phrase, you're still a spring chicken. <laughs> so that's the inside of that one. And then I did another notch up here by using the dies that they brought in for us. So. The dies for the Hey Birthday Chick include a happy birthday phrase, um, dies to, to cut out the four chicken images, and then you've got some chicken hashing. Uh, there's a, uh, would that be a flower bag or oat bag, something farm related in a bag. There's a tiny chick, there's a little bow tie. I think that would be so cute put in, to put on one of these chickens. Um, and then fencing and a streamer. So it's a really great way to build up your birthday collection. Um, but if, if you have um, some chicken loving people. Okay, so what I did with that one, I used the streamers, dies, cut them out. Oop, let me come this way. There we go. <laughs> I know, Kathy, I haven't used mine before too. I've had it for, I think, almost a month and it just sat there and I saw it again the other day and went, I've got to get this one out. Um, all right, so what I did with this one, I used my postage stamp punch as the rectangle base and then cut the white panel a little smaller to fit, so there's layer behind. Um, I used the blends again to color them in, but I also then added, like with this guy here, I did the same thing I did the first time, which was stamp them randomly in the background, but then I cut one out in on a die and popped them up, and I did the same thing with just the cupcake. So just that little cupcake piece, um, I stamped so it's the whole image, you can see it all comes together, but I just mostly focused on that section of it 
And then same thing with the die. When I die cut it, I, I ended up with just a little bit of extra paper on there, but I only cut out then just the cupcake. And then I'm not sure if you can see, but I put Wink of Stella on the happy birthday phrase. So it's got a little bit of sparkly bling happen in there. So that's always fun. So, the, oh, thanks Ruth. I like this too, because you know, when you're, depending on how much time you have or materials you have, um, these are always a good way to do a really basic card and then also um, much more. Well, thanks Kathy. I think they're kind of fun. Um, so this is one thing I really would recommend everybody to keep in their stash. It's a pretty inexpensive item. I think it's only like $8. It's basically like glitter in a pen. So awesome. Um, it will run out eventually. It's, it's a liquid, um, kind of like those other metallic -y pens. You can hear the little shaker guy. Um, and then all you need to do is pop that off and you just basically paint with it. Um, and after you've touched what you're touching there, it'll dry clear. It's already clear and has just some glitter. And so it's like painting with glitter. Fun, fun, fun way to add a little something to your projects. All right, I'm gonna show you lastly um, how I colored in case you're not familiar with the blends. So blends are an alcohol-based marker and they're very, very good for exactly what their name says, blending into colors. So you can buy them in a set. You get a light and a dark of each of each shade that you buy. So this is the Just Jade collection. So there's a light and a dark. And you can go about this one of two ways. I like to start with um, a little bit of dark and then blend into the light, you know, start with or go over it with the light. Um, I'm gonna show you though that each one of these two just by themselves, you can keep adding layers of color. So for example, if I just do this little part here with my light one and I just let it sit for a second and then I go back over this part, as you can see, there's that other part that I didn't touch is still lighter. So each time you go back over it, you're adding layer and layer and depth. Okay, I'm gonna add just a little bit more dark and they also come with two tips. There's the, um, the paintbrush tip, which is what you just saw me use. And then there's this darker um, kind of pen style, which I like for tiny spaces, like that little part of the balloon. Um, and then also too, I'm just gonna kind of hashtag into, I also like that little squeaky noise, <laughs> um, into that part. And I'm gonna add a little more dark over here. Now, once I've got some color laid down, I do kind of like to go back in with the lights and I'm just gonna roll over that a little bit and work them into each other. And now I'm gonna go back in with the lit tip and it just adds just in the spots where they're going over each other to kind of blend them together. So again, the more you go over those spots, the darker it's gonna get, depending on, even if you're just using one, either the light or the dark. So a little heavy handed on that. I didn't leave as much light as I wanted to. Let me see if this one, yeah, you can see it better in this one. So that's how you get that light and shading. You can start with either the dark and go into the light or start with the light, go into the dark, whichever way makes sense to you. Um, and then I did the same thing when I was coloring in the chicken. I used the darker parts on the legs and the, the, the prominent feathers and then the lighter part for the rest of his body. Okay. So that is tonight's card. All right, let me pull that together. Um, so again, that was Hey Birthday Chick and the matching, uh, what do they call them? Birthday Chick dies. Well, how about that? They match up lovely. All right, and if you want to take notes of that, because it's a special promotion, it's not actually, the die part at least anyway, is not actually in the catalog or anything. Um, here is, the ordering information. Um, you can buy them in a bundle if you don't already have the stamp set because the stamp set did come out by itself for a while before the dies were created. So, oh, thanks, Jesse. I'm so glad you like them. Um, so you get the bundle. So you can buy just the stamp set or just the dies or you put them together, you get 10% off the price. So if you get both together, it's 43. If you want just the stamp set, it's 21. And if you would want the dies just by themselves, it'd be 27. All right. Um, I think, let's see, that's about 20 minutes. It didn't feel like 20 minutes. <laughs> All right, let me put these back in the middle here so you can see. Um, so again, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this little layout. I think this is a really fun one um, that you can do a lot of versatile things with. We've got so many shaped punches um, that this would be a really great use of different 
um, doing different things with that. Different size dies, the ones with like the spiky or the scallopy edges. This would be a really great way to lay out some of those as well. Um, alrighty, I think that's everything I had. So um, I hope you guys post the pictures of what you've made because I always want to see what's there. Um, I will post pictures of these samples into the thread for the event and I will put the sketch on there so you can write that down again if you need to. And I will put the link for the YouTube video. So like I said, I'm gonna copy this once I stop it and it will go into my YouTube channel as well. So you can have two different ways to view it. It'll stay on the page or if you happen to be on YouTube, you can just find it in my channel. All right, I hope you guys all have a great evening. It looks like for us anyway, we just have a little bit of fluttering flitters right now. And hopefully that's kind of all for tonight because it's been a little sad to see that white stuff out there. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. It was so great for you to join me tonight. Um, you guys take care, and I'll see you next Monday. Bye.